don't take my land. That's what about a dozen property owners in South Memphis are saying to a Bahalia pipeline company. The company wants to build a pipeline from the Valero plant in downtown Memphis through parts of the predominantly black neighborhoods of Boxtown, Westwood and Whitehaven and then into Mississippi. Bahalia pipeline even filing imminent domain lawsuits against property owners who won't sell portions of their land. Local 24 News reporter Jenny DePrizio picks up the story from here. This weekend, former Vice President Al Gore will be in Memphis attending a rally against the Bahalia pipeline. Some hope it will draw extra attention to the issue. It is insulting, it is offensive, and it's wrong. Scotty Fitzgerald is talking about the lawsuit Bahalia Pipeline LLC filed against her and other property owners who refused to sell portions of their land so a crude oil pipeline can be built. I didn't know they could come from Texas, White Plain, Texas, and just decide, I want your property, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to sue you for it. I didn't know you could sue people for their own property. Fitzgerald doesn't want to sell, saying her mother bought two acres on Weaver Road decades ago when she says African Americans weren't supposed to buy land. She worked hard, and she sacrificed a lot and so now they just want to uh, shove me around. She doesn't want under any circumstance at any price to have a crude oil transportation conglomerate come and dig up her property and put a pipeline forever in her land. Lawyer Scott Crosby represents Fitzgerald and several other landowners. Crosby says in 2006, Tennessee law changed narrowing the scope of when property can be taken against a person's will. Crosby says in this situation, Bahalia Pipeline wants what's called a permanent easement. You'll always have forever a pipeline underneath your, comp your, your land over which you can never build. Property owners say having a pipeline on their property will decrease its value and they fear broken pipelines or other environmental problems. This is individuals in Memphis saying, I do not want something to happen in my property that I love. Fighting an oil company may not be easy, but Fitzgerald is hopeful. Here's what I really think. I think that through God we can do anything. Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News. And a spokesperson for Bahalia Pipeline says none of the eminent domain proceedings actually involve properties with residential structures, and they are still working to find mutually beneficial agreements with all remaining landowners.